everybody. Today we're going to be trying something different. I made a bunch of wood stoves out of uh, propane tanks. And I went from small from a 1 foot one to a 2 foot long one or 3 foot. Now somebody just gave me a hot water tank. So this should be interesting. I'm going to take it all apart, get all this metal off of it. You got a bunch of money too that you can make with it like that. You got copper and you got brass and you got aluminum. And... Anyway, I got to take all this outside part off first. The shell. Uh, I, don't know how, I don't know how big it is on the inside yet. But uh, it seems to be about Four feet high. No more than that. One, two. Almost five feet high. Yep, so I'm gonna start unscrewing. I see only one screw on this side. Okay, there's another one on the other side. These ones seem to be taken off. That one's out. That one's out. Anyway, I will show you once I get it naked, undressed. Hope it's a nice chromey color. Okay, so now I got the cover off. Take off. I have to go I'll take this plastic off. Get, get the side off. You always wear safety gloves and stuff. This is very sharp. I'm sitting there saying that, but I'm not wearing any. But I know it's sharp, and I'm not going to put my fingers next to it too close. Yep, that looks really ugly. You can see that once I get it open, there's a lot of hard water deposit and stuff. This was in the middle here. And you can see all the hard water deposit on that, so I'm sure it's full of uh, full of junk inside there. We'll see that when I get it open and when I cut a door into it. A lot safer than cutting open a propane tank, though. I mean, this thing won't explode. It was an electric heater, too. It wasn't gas. Anyway, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, so now I lied it on its side. I took the bottom off. Let's we'll see what we'll do next. Okay, so now it's been stripped. Got this piece off, which wasn't that hard. Got the bottom and the top, and all the insulation and plastic that was around it. And looks good. It's not that bad. It's just got a bit of, like, because it was wet. But the, the bottom is nice and clean. Seems solid. I guess the next step will be to, I guess, I don't know, take these things off. I gotta figure out if I'm gonna make it a lying down one or a standing up one. I guess I'm gonna look at that after. I really don't know. I guess if I make a standing up one, let's say it's standing up. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay, I gotta take these things off. I guess we can make like a door at the bottom for the fire. And probably another door near the middle top there to, so you could put a grill in it and still be able to cook something or smoke something or. I don't know, that's all gonna be. Looked at once I, bef I gotta find it before I cut it anyway. I'm not sure. Still thinking about it. I've also seen people turn these into uh, compressors for air, an air compressor. Just add a pump to it. Anyway, now it's time to take these side pieces off. The elements, I guess they are. Okay, so now I got the top one out. And this one, I just unscrewed the four bolts holding this in. These are wires. This comes off. Okay, now will be to get this plate off. I don't know if we can just hit it. Okay, there we go. And once that comes out, uh, look at all that gunk in there. Once I get the doors made, I'm going to empty this stuff out because 
This is really nasty stuff. It's a hard water deposit. So now I got all that off. You know, I gotta get that metal plate and do like I did here and take the element out of it and put it back, cover the hole. And after that, it's pretty much almost ready for cutting. Right, dog? Right, dog? Yay. Anyway, gotta clean it up and do that. Okay, so now everything is stripped off of it. There's nothing left. I was trying to decide now. I'm gonna make a part two to this because this is a. Uh, I was thinking if I should make a standing up wood stove or a lying down stove like uh, my propane one here that's lying down and I think if it's lying down it'll be too long I mean you it's a waste I mean you can't put wood all the way to the end but if I did lie it down I thought of something else before I cut it anyway I gotta make sure what I'm doing because you can only cut it once <laughs> I thought if I lie it down I make a door on this end that opens as well as a trap on the side that makes like a barbecue that has a grill on the other end. Or I just make it standing up and make two doors, one at the bottom for a fire and one at the top or middle, almost at the top for a, a grill. I don't know, any opinions? Uh, I'll read the comments, I'll see if anybody... I think it will take less room standing up and I don't really make that many barbecues. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really buy meat. <laughs> not because I'm vegan or anything like that. It's just because I'm poor. <laughs> I don't have the money to go buy meat. And I mean, even vegetables and stuff are expensive. Everything I do is, like I've gone to Subway last year and from one tomato, I made a whole bunch of tomato plants from one of the, from the seeds from the tomatoes and over there is the peppers that come from Subway too and I got the uh, seeds from a pumpkin on Halloween that I've been using for two years and they're growing like crazy over there too and cherry tomatoes that I got from one cherry tomato I don't know I'm always recycling so I'm basically growing and it's costing me absolutely nothing even that Got that from seeds. And that's for fun. Anyway, so back to this. I am ready. I guess all that's left now is to clean it up and decide what I'm going to do with it. Then after that, I'll start cutting. There was a lot of rust on the inside of the thing. I rinsed it out and then a lot of big chunks of white calcium were coming out. Yep. Well, I'm happy. It's bigger than a propane tank. Well, then, I mean wider. So, I mean, that'd be a nice fire just looking through the door. But at the same time, it's way too long. To make a long fire pit, I mean, how are you gonna clean it out when all the ashes go in the end, if it's, if it's lying down sideways? No, I think it's gonna be like this, standing up. And in the winter, I can stick it in that little camper and that'll heat it up. You just make a small fire in that and that'll heat it up. I mean, it's, it's, the camper doesn't move. It has no wheels on it or anything. It's, it's, it's stuck there. It's my workshop and there's a double bed in there with a computer to go sleep there at night. Okay, so I got gas stuff in there and oil. And one side workshop, one side bed. Oh yeah, and I found a Pepsi fridge, but it has no has no, no more compressor in it, but this is another project that I want to do. I'm figuring uh, something you can grow plants in with a neon light at the top, but not outside, inside the house there. That's another project one day. It seals well, it just doesn't have a compressor. And the camper, well, right now it's really upside down because it's winter just finished and I've been putting stuff in here. I got extra propane tanks to make more stuff. And it's all storage. But I've been sleeping here lately. The laptop. Dogs love it. 
Yep. Love doing random stuff. Anyway, I'm going to make a part two to this and leave me your comment at the bottom what you think. Should I make it standing up or lying down? Or I figure standing up. I mean, I can still cook and make a fire. It doesn't take as much room. Uh, yep. Probably put on the balcony too and make fires on it, <laughs> on your balcony. I'm going to have to find a chimney for this thing. That's another thing. Whenever I make them lying down, when you open the door, the smoke comes back out the door. But standing up, because the door is way at the bottom and the smoke goes up towards the top, it has no choice but to go out the chimney. So those are all, that's why I think it would be better standing up, I guess. It seems really thick up here too. That's going to be hard to cut. I don't have any special tools. I'm not using... The only thing I have is like a, a jigsaw for a cheap jibs, j bleh, a cheap jigsaw. Uh, circular saw won't help me because it's wood. That's for cutting wood. A drill, a hacksaw that I have to do by hand. No, no torches or anything. I don't own any. Everything I make is without torches, and it works. It's just that. Having torches or welders, that would be fun. I'd love to make this thing look steampunk or like an old missile from the war that landed in my yard. <laughs> that would be funny too. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, uh, if you got any suggestions and stuff like that or ideas, let me know. I'm open to anything. I don't, it, you know, it's just for fun. It's not, uh, it's not like I'm selling it for money or anything. And if I can do it, you can do it. Especially with no power tools. Anyway, I'm going to make a part two. I will follow through. I will show part two. Sorry I wasn't filming while I'm working. But I'm doing this with a cell phone. And I don't have a tripod or anything. Uh, and nobody's here to help me hold the phone and film while I'm working. But uh, showing the step so far, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing there. All I did was unwrap it with this stuff uh, this is just wrapped around it you just need a chisel and a hammer to every rivet hole that was there or not rivet but just a spot weld tick 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 so once you get those off it just comes off really easily it wasn't stuck to it the top was the same thing it had like four screws around and popped off and I took off the elements that were on the bottom and the top and all the what I got? I got some brass, got some copper, copper, and I kept the thermostats in case somebody, the guy who gave it to me wants them, I don't know, I doubt it, but uh, throw them away, if worst comes to worst, I'll just keep all the copper and the brass. So basically, how much did this cost so far? It cost me zero, plus I'm going to get paid for the copper and the brass, so I mean I'm basically making money, I'm getting money for making this. <laughs> And it's still going to be mine. <laughs> so, plus there's also some metal there. But I'm not sure if I'm going to throw that away right now. Because it could be good for something. It's not that bad. It's It unbends really easily. I didn't damage it. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe another project. Yep. So uh, have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. If you don't, I won't hate you. Hope everybody has a great summer and there will be a part two soon because I hate projects that start and don't I don't finish. Right now it's because I am i can't really go forward. I need to buy a, a jigsaw blade that cuts metal. I, I broke my other ones last year making the propane one. And I don't live near a hardware store. I have to wait for somebody to give me a ride down there. Anyways, like I said, have a great summer and stay tuned for number two.